make that my rule today and every day. And we know many kids are, are trying to do that too. But they're having anxiety in some cases because of what's going on. Parents that anxiety may mean that you have to have tough conversations with your children to keep them from getting overwhelmed. But how is the best way to do that? Let's get a little help from Dr. Beth Tremell. She's a psychologist and associate professor at IU East. Doctor, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're really glad to have you putting the focus here. Um, you know, when it, it, every kid's different, right? And uh, and, and they change with age here. So let's, I, I don't know if you want to like give us an age range that we're talking about here, but I'm thinking uh, to, to my kids or teenagers in general, sometimes it's hard to draw them out because they're in their, um, sort of in their own headspace, not always uh, able to kind of uh, articulate things. So how do you identify that and figure out the best way to kind of help them through this? Yeah, I we are in just such an unusual time, right? And. You know, I think for our school age kids and even our teens, some um, some things that we can do as parents is to first take care of ourselves and realize that, you know, our kids are picking up on our energy. So even if you're not, uh, you know, saying anything around them, they're picking up on the energy that you're putting off. And mm -hmm. so if you're putting off an anxious vibe, they're going to be picking that up. So I think our school age and our, our teenagers, especially, it's finding some time, you know, finding time where you can be with them and help them open up um, when you're feeling well and mm -hmm. when they're feeling well. But it is sort of a, a tricky thing because on one hand, you know, you don't want to try to put too much weight on it. So maybe the temptation is to downplay it. But at the same time, you want to take their anxiety seriously because it could come up in, in all kinds of ways that we don't even uh, understand or recognize. So where do you kind of walk that line? Yeah, I think it is always tricky, right? I, I find that parents often want to know, is my kid okay? Mm -hmm. And I use kind of a barometer for kids that if they're having trouble at home, at school and in the community, Kind of in each of those domains then i might be thinking hey there's kind of a bigger thing going on here um, but it's really common for all of us to be feeling a lot of anxiety right now and so i think as parents we can think through um, what is our kid typically like um, mm -hmm. and how far from that typical are they sort of behaving right now and maybe have the conversation about that but you know, usually you're here and right now you're here and so let's talk through um, what's going on for you. You have to sort of be a, a parent detective right because if you try to start that conversation and 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 they kind of say I I'm fine I I'm fine really don't worry I I'm fine but uh, I I'm guessing you know establish a line of communication with the teachers and the other people that they're around when you're not there. Absolutely. And remember that with our teens, we're just sort of planting seeds and even our school age kids, right? So we don't want to really force them into it, but we want to keep a, an open line of communication. So you might say, you know, I want to hear from you whenever uh, you feel okay talking about it. And I'm probably going to ask you about this again, kind of warn them ahead of time. I'm going to ask you about it again because I really care about where you're at and how you're doing. Dr. Beth Trammell at uh, IU East. Thank you very much. And I hope we get to talk to you again soon. We appreciate your, your thoughtfulness. Yeah, I'd love that. Thanks for having me. All right, take care. Have a good day. Stay